I am not afraid of an army of lions led by a sheep. I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. I am indebted to my father for living, but to my teacher for living well. Remember upon the conduct of each depends the fate of all. Whatever possession we gain by our sword cannot be sure or lasting, but the love gained by kindness and moderation is certain and durable. You shall, I question not, find a way to the top, if you diligently seek for it, for nature hath placed nothing so high that it is out of the reach of industry and valor. If I were not Alexander, I would be Diogenes. I had rather excel others in the knowledge of what is excellent than in the extent of my power and dominion. I do not pilfer victory. A tomb now suffices him for whom the whole world was not sufficient. How should a man be capable of grooming his own horse or of furbishing his own spear and helmet if he allows himself to become unaccustomed to tending even his own person, which is his most treasured belonging? How great are the dangers I face to win a good name in Athens. For my own part, I would rather excel in knowledge of the highest secrets of philosophy than in arms. Oh, most miserable wretch that I am, why have I not learned how to swim? How happy had it been for me, had I been slain in the battle. It had been far more noble to have died, the victim of the enemy, than fall a sacrifice to the rage of my friends. Soldiers, I had lately liked to have been taken from you by the attempt of a few desperate men, but by the grace and providence of the gods, I am still preserved. So far as I am concerned, I could not be accused of having set eyes or having wished to set eyes upon Darius' wife. On the contrary, I have refused even to listen to those who spoke to me of her beauty. My father will anticipate everything. He will leave you and me no chance to do a great and brilliant deed. I wish that the Indians believed me, for upon the report of an enemy's valor oftentimes depends the success of a battle, and false reports have many times done as great things as true courage and resolution. Who does not desire such a victory, by which we shall join places in our kingdom, so far divided by nature, and for which we shall set up trophies in another conquered world?